Hey folks, what's up? This is Michael. Welcome to the weekend in the wee hours of the night on the Graveyard Shift with your daily trivia question once again. Oh my goodness, it's spring. It's the first weekend of spring. I've been looking forward to this. I'm going to ride my bike this weekend. Hopefully the rain will hold off. Nice weather, maybe a little breezy. I don't care. It's spring. Winter is finally behind us and we are looking forward. Ah, anyways, the answer to the previous trivia question to get our weekend started was the wise men. Now, by late 1967, the Vietnam War was consuming Lyndon Johnson's presidency. Although he was fiercely optimistic in everything that was going on with the Vietnam War, it was obvious to many around him, including his cabinet and his advisors, that the offensive was failing. And it was not achieving its military goals. And the end was basically not in sight. This is just going to be a continuous thing. So troops had escalated to 525,000 by 1967, early 1968. Now keep in mind, just a couple of years, just a few years prior, there were just 23,000 troops in Vietnam. And at, and at this point, Westmoreland, had was requesting more okay so there was an issue here so johnson called many people together for a series of meetings to discuss the vietnam war and the u.s involvement on march 25th of 68 which was the focus of the trivia question he met with his own advisors cabinet members going all the way back to truman's presidency a lot of people don't realize that pentagon officials there was at least one supreme court justice there uh, General Omar Bradley was, was at this meeting. There were army generals and so forth. There was just a whole slew of people. These formal and informal advisors became known and went down in history as the wise men. So just four months prior, the so-called wise men, this was in November, if research serves me correctly, the prior year, had advised President Johnson to stay the course and to stay with it and that the end might be in sight with, with the war efforts. Just five months later in March of 68, things had completely changed. So some of the quotes from the meetings include, Mr. President, there has been a very significant shift in most of our positions since we met last. We can no longer do the job we set out to do, and public discontent with the war is now wide and deep. Johnson realized that realized a couple of things coming out of this meeting, the takeaways. Negotiations would be pointless. Halting the bombing would be seen as a sign of weakness because they were so far into it at this time. And there was widespread and political misperception, like I referenced in one of that, that final quote. Remember, this is, uh, this is the anti-war movement. This is the 60s, and it was growing uh, every day and consuming the presidency um, about how everything was going. It, it, it was considered endless and hopeless, uh, the Vietnam War was. And these meetings, especially the one in March of 68, were considered pivotal. So five days later on March 31st, Johnson announced on television to the to the public, we the people, that he was restricting the bombing of North Vietnam, and he committed the United States to discuss peace at any time or place. Now, at, at the very conclusion of that public address, Johnson would go on to stun the nation. No one really saw it coming with his announcement that he would also not seek re-election. So he was basically, he was like, you know what, I think I've, I've had enough. It is uh, well known that the Vietnam War was very uh, heavy on his shoulders, and he anguished over, over the whole situation. And uh, there's reports, and it's been well documented, that he would get up in the middle of the night and go down to the basement of the White House and actually turn on the radio and listen to the casualties, what was going on, and just try to stay abreast on the whole Vietnam War and everything. So that's Lyndon Johnson and his meeting with the great wise men. Okay, folks, what you say we get our weekend started with a brand new trivia question for March 26th on this day in 1845 
two doctors named Horace Harold Day and William H. Shecut were granted a patent for an adhesive medicated plaster that would be applied as a wound dressing and that stuck on its own. It was the forerunner and precursor to this. Have a good weekend, folks. Get some rest and relaxation. You deserve it. Be safe. And look out for each other. And thanks for all you do. And peace out.